Hey guys. Today we're going to be talking about silhouette art. A silhouette is an outline of something that's blackened out, kind of like a shadow. In art, people use silhouettes all the time to make their artwork look more dramatic. We could have silhouettes of objects. Or we could have silhouettes of people. We could have silhouettes that are mysterious. Or we could have silhouettes that are fun. Silhouette art has been around a long time. In the late 1700s, an artist named Moses Williams made a name for himself creating silhouette art. After he was freed from slavery, he made over 8,000 silhouette portraits, earning enough money to build his own home. Following in his footsteps is another Black American artist, Kara Walker. Kara Walker uses silhouette art to tell stories. Her artwork is massive, sometimes taking up entire rooms, and she uses silhouette art as an art form to explore racial injustice and social issues plaguing our country. All right, now we're going to try our hands at some silhouette art. You're going to need a piece of paper, you're going to need something that you think would make a cool silhouette. It could be like a statue or an action figure or a toy or basically anything that has a cool shape, a plant, <laughs> you know, anything you can find around your house that you think would look really cool in silhouette form. So you're going to look around and find something, maybe even a leg. <laughs> but you're gonna find something that you can use. And then you're gonna need a light source. Now you could use a window if you're right beside it and it's bright and it's just right, you could try to use a window, but that might be a little tougher. So you may want to use a flashlight or a lamp or anything that gives off light. If you have um, a phone or if your parents have a phone or a device you can use that has um, a uh, flashlight setting. A lot of times you'll have a flashlight setting. These are perfect for casting shadows onto your paper. So I'm going <laughs> to, this is going to be a little weird, but I'm going to hold <laughs> my light source with my neck like this, and I'm going to hold my statue like this so that I can do it. You might want to try to set this up because <laughs> as you can tell, me doing it this way is not ideal. But once you have your statue and your light source, try to keep it as still as you can, and you can very easily, quickly trace that little silhouette as best you can. And if you look, you'll notice my paper's moving, my shadow's moving. It's hard to do this perfect, but we're just kind of doing a little practice one today. So I want you to try your best at shaping out and this is a little hard because I'm going to have to guess. Uh, I can't see over my silhouette. But you're going to try your best to kind of just sketch out the silhouette of your object. And then, bloop. Um, then you could use a black marker or a crayon or anything like that to fill in your silhouette. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> So, and voila, you've got a nice little silhouette drawing. I could go in and smooth this out a little more fill in any of these little white spots I might have missed, but I'm kind of speeding through it as you know. But this is a really cool way just to do the silhouette part 
um, of an object. Now this is pretty simple today because we're just kind of getting the idea in our brain. We're actually going to do a much cooler, bigger silhouette project um, coming up in the next week or two that I'm really excited to share with you and that we might be collabing with another class. So it's going to be really awesome. So get a little practice in, make a cool silhouette, see what you can do. It's so cool. What was that? There's like an old set of movies where this guy would go like, Good evening. And he'd walk over and kind of form into a silhouette. <laughs> they were uh, Hitchcock movies, I think. But anyway, I hope you guys had fun with this. And we are going to make something even cooler next week um, in the realm of silhouettes. All right. Later.